this piece in my sketchbook was really one of the first times that I played with different Zentangle elements as well. So let's do that again. If we imagine that she parts her hair over here. And we can start by segmenting the different areas. And some of them are going to have lines and some of them are going to have patterns. And some of them are just going to be as you leave free flowing. So I like the straight lines. But also if we zoom in, we can give it a little more of a Zentangle feel. If we start, for example, adding a little fan, which would be three lines, and then from the, one of the corners, you start the other three kind of curves. And again, they don't have to be perfect, but they add a little visual interest, and it may even look as if she has a braid in her hair. See that? Two, three. One, two, three, and go a little bigger maybe. And then add one on the top. And from the other side. And one that goes in the middle. And you can fill in all the different segments with different ideas that you have. And if that doesn't take up enough time, you can then go into the different segments. For example, this can be a triangular one. And then you can add on to each design and make it more intricate all the time. You can play with weight, like if the smallest triangle, for example, can be filled in. The, every second part of the braid can have a little shadow in it. Or you can add a little stippling on the side. What I would say though is don't overdo the designs within one particular area. Because with, as with calligraphy also, I think what makes doodling as imprecise as it may be, but what makes it pleasurable to look at is a certain consistency and a certain cohesive feature. That concludes today's demo, I think. I'll let you get on and do your own thing. And I'll see you again tomorrow.